Alright guys, I've got some very exciting news for you today on your Galaxy S4 if you have one. This is the Verizon version. Um, and let me just go over what I'm going to show you guys today. So what we're going to do, this is a custom ROM I'm running right here. But for those of you who don't have custom ROMs because you are on the new OTA update, which is ME7. Um, see right here under build number, I'm on MDK. But if you on MDK, you can still use Loki Hack and you can get into recovery and do all that kind of stuff. But if you're on ME7, build ME7, you cannot do that right now. There is a root exploit for you guys to get you root access, but you did not have a recovery system at this point. Now, this is the good news of this video right here. Hashcode has gone ahead and created safe strap for the Verizon Galaxy S4 which is super awesome. Uh, this guy is an awesome developer. He's done SafeStrap for a lot of Motorola devices. I think this is the first one he's done for um, the Galaxy devices, Samsung. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna show you guys really quick right here. This is where you're gonna download it from. I will give you a link for it. And it is SafeStrap and then it's the JFLTEV ZW and some other numbering in there and I'll give you a link directly to this thing so you guys can get it and to all the files and everything you're going to need for this in the video description down below. So once you download it you're just going to go into your file explorer or click on downloads. I think it's under downloads too for me. Let's see actually downloads and it is right there so you can just click on it. It says do you want to install SafeStrap? Go ahead and say yes. Now, if you are not familiar with SafeStrap, I'm going to go over a pretty good tutorial on it here, hopefully. I have lots of videos also on it that might even go in, in deeper if you check out uh, my YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and go to open. And you're going to grant it super user permission. So this does require having root access already accomplished on ME7. Like I said, I'm showing you this on MDK and if you want to install it on MDK you can you can use this this is fine um, but also you have the Loki hack if you want to actually get in and bypass bootloader and things like that so for safe strap here we're just gonna go ahead and go into install recovery you can note down here that it is the version of 3.54 that's his newest version he put out today so we're gonna go ahead and install recovery and it shouldn't take too long um, everything should be functioning on this device with this install recovery. The only thing that I think that he's still got to figure out that I saw in the forum is that the install recovery doesn't fully remove all of the parts of the recovery system. Um, it should be enough to get it wiped out where you're not going to see it, but it's still got little pieces in there that he didn't get pulled. So, still going to need some work on that re install recovery button. So once you got in here, it says up here installed now and you can go ahead and say reboot to recovery and the device gets granted super user permission down there at the bottom should shut down and we're going to see a splash screen here it says custom that's some stuff i was doing but um, you should see uh, a splash screen and you're going to hit the menu button that pops up here in the bottom corner or you can hit the skip button over here that's going to be in this corner over here All right. Actually, because we hit reboot recovery, I forget it just reboots directly into this. Um, if you just do a power off state, and you'll you should see that in the next boot when we do a reboot here, you'll see that there's that splash screen. But because we hit re re reboot recovery, it just boots to recovery. Um, so this is safe strap. Some key things I want to point out to you guys is up here the version. It does have a battery percentage in there, and it's based on Torp recovery. That's all in there also. Um, this is also on stock ROM slot. You want to see anything in red? That's kind of like your critical safe system. You really don't want to mess with stock too much um, just because uh, this is like where everything's safe. If Once you boot into a ROM slot, you can goof with it however you want. If you mess it up, you can always go back to stock very easily. If you change stock now, you might have to do an Odin to restore your device. So that's why these are out here in red. Just kind of another warning to show you guys. Maybe don't hit those buttons yet until you create a ROM slot. So it does, I'm going to go over some quick things. It does have backup, and you can back up the system. 
Um, has a restore, you can restore the system. Uh, it has mounts in here and you can mount different things along with mount USB storage. So you hit that one, you plug in your computer and it'll pull up your micro SD and your internal storage that way. You do have advanced which has fixed permissions, file manager, terminal commands, you can give it some settings, some theme loading and different uh, copying log to SD card if you have a problem with it. Um, and then in settings, you can go to screen because this does have a screen that's going to turn off um, on you in, in, in twerp because it's safe strap but twerp. And you can adjust timeouts and things like that right there and brightness. Um, so you have a bunch of settings. So the first thing you're going to do if you're going to flash a ROM is you're just going to go into boot options you're going to create a ROM slot and you're going to pick how big of data partition size you want and I always go with one and then you would hit the create button um, and I'll, I don't have quite enough space to do that but you'd go ahead and do that and you'd create a ROM slot and then this ROM slot that's stock would go blank or not blank but go in this color and then it would light up ROM slot 1 as green which means it's activated and then when you go back to this screen, these will turn back to white instead of red. And you can go ahead and do your wipes and your installs and go ahead and flash in safe strap. And it's going to flash to ROM slot 1 that would be lit up in green over here. So that's kind of a basics on it. Like I said, I've got other videos that go pretty in-depth with this thing um, to go through and install. As of right now, there is one, one, I repeat, one ROM that you can install in here. It's a Google Edition ROM, and I'll put links to that down here in the video description as well and that does work with safe strip right now developers will be doing more on this this is new like I said just got done today so once you're done installing a ROM or whatever you're doing you can just go ahead and reboot and then do reboot system and you're gonna boot back up now this time when you boot up you should see that splash screen because you're gonna see it on every boot um, and you can get right back into safe strap or you can just let it boot and it'll boot past it uh, or you can hit the skip button down here in the corner so here it is it says disabled it's very hard to see it's really blacked out but if you're on a clean ROM slot if you're on a ROM slot it's going to be in green right now it's in red because you're on stock ROM slot if it's if it's a, a ROM slot it's going to be in green so that's kind of an overview of it and there you go now you've got safe strap recovery installed on your device very very slick very very cool um, great props to hash code for doing this recovery for you guys man this has been needed bad since we've had our me7 update so there it is um, that's my video on safe strap uh, as always guys please um, check me out uh, right up here at uh, rootjunkie.com um, you can follow me on Facebook or Twitter and there it is Safe Strap by Hashcode, awesome developer. We'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.